All right, we are back with the Arsenal crew mode. So we are getting closer and closer to the end of season one. And as you can see, the race for top four is kind of crazy. There's like eight teams all fighting to get a Champions League spot for next season. We are currently one point off Liverpool in fourth. We are in the FA Cup semis, which we will probably play in this episode against Watford. And we're also in the Europa League quarterfinals as well. In the last one, we made the last signing of season one, and that was Renato Sanchez, who I think is gonna be really good in this team. I feel like this episode will either make or break our chances for Champions League in season two. I mean, look at the team. I think, uh, I I think this team has progressed a lot in terms of growth, like Saka 86, Odegaard 87. Then we're getting very close to Champions League level. It's just a question, are the results going to actually show that and actually get us Champions League for next season? Plus, it'd be very nice to get a trophy, either the FA Cup or the Europa League. So we will see. Once again, I appreciate the support on the series so much. If you guys want to keep seeing it, then keep dropping likes, drop a like on the video, hit the sub button down below. The uh, the more you guys support the series, the more you will see of it. All right, first comment, try to sign Nkunku in season two or three because that's when his contract will expire. Yeah, I mean, Nkunku is a very interesting player in this game. He can play at striker, can play at center forward, can play on the wings probably. He fits the uh, the French theme of Arsenal too. He would cost like 150 million easy, but uh, he also would be very good in this team. Any future striker target we have, I feel like we have so many options. In Kunku, Isak, Luka Jovic, Darwin Nunez, I've seen the comments a lot, and also Dusan Vlaovic. Please sign Vlaovic next season if you get Champions League. He'll do so much better than uh, than Jesus. He is, uh, he's an interesting one because they just gave him a new face. He actually has a new face now in FIFA. It's so, like even Jonathan David, Dikete to lead. We got so many options for potential future strikers. It's going to be so hard to pick. It's going to be so hard to choose one. And then last one will be awesome for you to sign players from the Youth Academy as they might be your future stars. Yeah, I definitely want the Youth Academy to be part of the series. I feel like we haven't we haven't had that much luck with youth players. We have found a few who are look very decent, which we'll touch upon that in a second, I think. So I just saw on Twitter that uh, apparently Saliba wants to stay at Marseille and not go back to Arsenal. I don't know if it's true or not. I don't know if it's just a rumor, but I did see that. And honestly, the fact that Arsenal have not played him in real life they've loaned him out i think three times now it kind of makes sense so it makes me think should we keep saliba if that's actually true and he wants to leave in real life like he's been good i mean he has i don't know if he's been like insanely better than ben white we have played saliba a lot more than ben white but if that's true i don't know if we should keep him or sell him you guys let me know what you think about that because plus we have frederick Rowe next season coming in who's now 76 rated i don't know if we replace maybe saliba with frederick Rowe. like i don't know it's uh it's something it's something to think about so first game is liverpool we've played liverpool i think like three or four times now this season so i'm kind of sick of playing them so we're gonna sim it and see what the team can do in a sim game we did beat them in the fa cup simming so we have a chance um we're gonna go full first team i mean it's at home so maybe we could pull off an upset it'd be very nice and it's a one one draw to guard scores that's not a bad result considering it's fourth versus fifth that's not a bad result i'll take that so we have a youth player here that's unsettled in our youth academy and that is antoine bouvet from France. I think we found him in episode two or three. And the man's got 84 to 90 potential. He's rated at 66 right now. He's 5'9, five, five star skills five-star weak foot. I mean, he kind of reminds me of a, of a former Arsenal legend. You already know what I'm talking about. You know. When I see a French player who can play left wing, striker, and center forward in an Arsenal shirt, I think of Thierry Henry. Now, he's not as tall as Thierry Henry. He's 5'9", but he can play left wing, striker, center forward. He's got 84 to 90 potential. We could be looking at the next Thierry Henry for France. Now, you can't train up his height, but we could train up that finishing. Finishing is 51. Definitely needs to be better if he wants to be the next Thierry Henry. But actually, 75 dribbling, he looks pretty good. So, we we are going to promote him. And also speaking of former Arsenal legends, I think this guy, he is 84 to 94 potential. He's a CDM, but as you can see, he's definitely a winger. He might be better than that last guy. Like he might be the, the, the next Dennis Bergkamp. So we're going to keep our eyes on him too when we finally get to change his position. But I honestly like the look of this uh, Antoine Bouvet guy. I think he could be the next Thierry Henry like player for us and France. And I think we'll give him a chance in this episode, at least in one game to, to show what he's made of. And I mean, season two, we can load him out probably and uh, see what happens, but that could be an interesting player to watch. Look at that. Bouvet says, I'm desperate to show everybody what I can bring to the team. Uh, we will see about that. Okay. So we found this guy who's six, six from Nigeria and he's a CDM. He's going to be a center back though. And he's up to a 58. I mean, 66 pace, 65 physical. He doesn't look that bad. And the man is six, six. Like that is, that is extremely extremely tall but okay we face crystal palace next away from home we currently sit in fifth if we win this we would go to fourth above everton i think this is a pretty big game and since it's away i think we're gonna play this i mean we're facing a team in 18th in relegation of uh, threatened zone we gotta win this to get ourselves into that fourth spot so we're going full strength uh bouvet will get his chance in this episode just not this game this game's too big because this could have huge top four implications if we if we draw or lose this, I feel like since this game is away, it just has a bit of a tricky feeling to it. So we're going to play it. Hopefully get the job done. 
how does that work out for them where they play a horrible pass and it just bounces back at their player how does that work out for them i feel like we've played well recently just the finishing is uh it's not really been there but i do feel like we've created a lot of chances things have looked pretty good and jesus is already in here jesus already in we're just gonna get as close as we can and Butlin makes the save. What did I just say? Finishing, not exactly there. All right, we go near post with uh, Gabriel Jesus. That honestly doesn't look bad, but Butlin comes all the way out for it. Crystal Palace in this save have the worst home record in the league. So come on, we gotta win this. We have conceded a lot early on recently. I don't wanna see more of that. I wanna see us actually be sound defensively. And that's a, that's a decent clearance. That's a good pass to Odegaard. Odegaard tries to flip it to uh, to Jesus. Did it Did it happen? No, it did not. Oh, no. Okay, Tomiyasu should win that. He does. Okay, we need to score early. We need to set the tone here. Jesus gives it to Odegaard. Odegaard, get it to Martinelli. Martinelli, Jesus, Jesus. Very good turn. Jesus shot, and that's going to be blocked. Man, I got to say, our midfield, like Partey and Kamara have been so good in this series. That's a good one, too, from Saka and Jesus. Get it back to Jesus. Shot, and first goal of the game. Beautiful one-two from Jesus and Saka. That was beautiful. Honestly, I really like Jesus and this team. I feel like Jesus, I mean, he hasn't been like mind-blowing this season, but 15 and 30 in the Prem, that's a very solid season. I mean, it's a start we wanted. I would like to uh, just make this a more comfortable win. Jesus, oh, that was the worst pass I've ever seen. Jesus stole it though. And we're gonna go Odegaard. Okay, we need to pass this around a little bit. Oh, it's beautiful. Oh, it was almost beautiful. That was going to be some tiki taka right there. Yeah, I mean, this Chris Powell's team is in 13th, and it I can feel it. I can totally feel it in this game. They don't really seem up for this. But also, did I just jinx it by saying that? I might have. I say things without, without thinking a lot. Oh, Saka, what a ball to Jesus. It was, actually was a good pass. Man, Saka's almost 87 rated, I think. Like, he has grown so much. Tierney to Jesus, Martinelli. Martinelli, was. he should have overlapped there. We're going to get a cross in, though. Cross in to Saka. That's going to be cleared by... Uh, I don't know who that was, though. Okay, that's a good ball to Fuentes. And it goes right back to him. Now, Chris Palace don't have uh, Wilfred Zaha. That's probably why they're struggling. They lost their best player. I think he went to uh, Newcastle. Tell me, also, that's very good defending. But that's probably a reason why they're not uh, not amazing this season. Okay, first half, we're up 1-0. But we, we got to make this more comfortable than this. This uh, this might be a game for the Odegaard Smith Rowe midfield, I think. Because... Uh, it might give us the little bit more attacking that we need. All right, Saliba steals that. Now Odegaard is going to get it to Jesus. Actually, he's not going to. That was a that was a poor pass from Odegaard. Don't really see a lot of those this season. All right, come on. Second goal right here. Okay, what kind of pass is that to Jesus? Boys, we can't start passing like this. Martinelli, I can't see that from you. Okay, he makes up for it with a great steal. And he just got destroyed. Is that a red? It's a... We've gotten a red card in almost every single episode bro they gotta patch the game or something like there's is there's a little bit too much aggression it's ironic that i'm saying aggression when patrick beer is on the in the camera but okay chris Powell has done a 10 men and red cards in literally every episode it's almost getting ridiculous at this point but good ball to odegaard odegaard okay it was actually not a great ball get it to get that to jesus odegaard gives it to martinelli it's beautiful oh the shot is just right at the keeper though odegaard thomas Partey. okay just work it around and somehow we didn't square that either. It's like really good passing. It's a shot. It is just not clear enough, I guess. Okay, Partey to CDM. Smith throw on. And we're going to put Odegaard at the center mid spot. And we're also going to do uh, Matueke for Saka. This can't be one of those games where we fail to score the second. And we just let the other team. We leave the door open for them. It can't be one of those games. Yeah, Braille, that's a very good block using uh, using your basically your forehead. I like it. Smith throw to Jesus. Martinelli, Martinelli laid off for Jesus. It's not the greatest ball. It's actually such a bad ball from Martinelli to Jesus. Okay, we're gonna change actually. We're gonna I'm gonna put Smith throw on the left. Odegaard back at Cam, and then uh, for Martinelli, let's bring on Renato Sanchez. They're like going to attacking might might be the wrong thing here. Corner sent in that should be cleared, and it is. Got a bad feeling about this game for some reason. I have a bad feeling. We've been unable to extend the lead, and I'm a little bit worried. Good ball to Riedewald. 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 Man, okay, Gabriel, good challenge. Okay, come on. We just got to seal this. Just seal this, and I will feel so much better. Jesus, good ball to Tomiyasu. Okay, just find the space. Find it. Jesus gives it to Smith Rowe. That's not where I wanted the pass. I wanted it to go to, uh, I think, Partey. Oh, no. Come on. Not like this. Not like this. Don't you dare. Good block by Saliba. Why is Ramsdale coming out for that? Oh, dear Lord. I'm about to have a heart attack. Thank, thank you for clearing it, though. Oh, no. Gallagher. Gallagher that man we are fighting for our life right now. Okay, that's a good that's a good steal 
And okay, we need to relax and just keep the ball for a second. We are sweating against 19th or actually 18th place Crystal Palace, but you know what? We're getting this win. This is uh this is too big of a game to just mess around and lose the ball here, so we're not doing it. That should be it. Matoweke distance shot blocked. I mean, it's not always pretty. It's not always pretty, but we got the job done. Definitely should have scored more though. But that is us back into uh, fourth place. All right, so now we got the Europa League quarters. We are facing Michelin, which I believe is a Danish side. I could be wrong though, very likely. But uh, I think we're gonna do the same thing here we did in round 16. I think sim the first leg and play the second leg if needed. Because I think PSV were a better team than Michelin and we beat them 6-2. So we should get by them, I would say pretty easily so we're throwing out a strong team but it's also a rotated team a little bit and it's gonna be a 2-1 win all right that's a that's a good first leg so 2-1 going back home second leg we should get the job done and next game is brighton sanchez and ben white come in for this game otherwise strongest 11 and it's gonna be a very slim once again one new win courtesy of jesus same as the crystal palace game all right so second leg versus michelin um we're starting with uh inketia Matueke, smith rowe Renato sanchez and on the bench uh we have antoine bouvet so we're gonna try to give him a, a significant amount of game time in this game off the bench and we will see what maybe the next tier Henry can do in his first appearance for Arsenal in uh, the Europa League quarterfinals hopefully by the time he comes on uh, we've already pulled away a little bit because we're much better than this team so already up one goal at home we should not give up this lead so let's not shall we also on Ketia beautiful episode before that's some very good dribbling from Ketia so he scored in the last Europa League game I'd like to see more Odegaard, what are you doing? What? I don't even know what just happened, but Odegaard scored. I thought he was going for the header, but he kind of just kind of just fell to his feet and then he scored. You know what? It's a beautiful start, though. The ball just kind of, I think it's headed by actually their defender and it falls to Odegaard's feet. Like I said, very good start. Yeah, this is some pretty good ball movement from Michelin. Actually, very good. And Ramsdale just made a double save. That was so awkward. He still made the save, though. Okay, that was a bad ball from Adeweke. Okay, I'm going to I'm gonna maybe jinx it by saying this, though, but, I mean, Ramsdale, I didn't expect him to be amazing in this series, but, I mean, he's grown up to an 85. He's actually been very solid as our uh, keeper. I think he's almost leading the Prem in clean sheets, too, so he's had a very good season. Okay, they're letting Kamara have a lot of space here. And I just ran into the defender. I was about to shoot. I honestly was thinking in my head, is Kamara right-footed or left-footed? I have no clue, so I didn't know which side to shoot from. I think he's right-footed, I believe, so I should have shot from the right. Okay, that's a good ball. Oh, I just got destroyed. Ramsdale again, though. He does just enough. Man, I keep getting destroyed there on the near on the near post, yeah. But Nketiah to Smith Rowe. Let's see his new pace. We've been training his pace. You can see it. Smith Rowe has got a little bit of quickness to him now, a little bit. And that's just an easy finish. And we are 2-0 up. 4-1 on aggregate. This is going pretty much as expected. All right, Matt Awake. Let's see the pace. He's got 92 pace. I like the look of that. Okay, that's a bad ball to Smith Rowe. It's so awkward. Smith Rowe gets it to Odegaard, though. Two Matawake. Matawake in front of goal. Matawake shoots, and the keeper makes the save. Short corner. Odegaard flips it up. It's actually off uh, off their fullback. That's an interesting cross, though. We're going to head that right back to Odegaard. Okay, what is this? Gabriel, what is this awkwardness? How does Odegaard even get that? There's so many bodies in the box here. Smith Rowe. Okay, awkward, awkward, awkward. We're going to flip that up to Odegaard. Actually, goes all the way to Renato Sanchez. What? What am I seeing right now? Odegaard's offside, right? Yeah, he was offside. That was just absolute chaos. That is a good ball. Ramsdale again makes another save. Man, Ramsdale. Having himself quite the game here. Should it be the end of the first half, though, that we that would be caught by Ramsdale. And that is the end of the first half. All right, I think it's time. We're going to move Smith Rowe to Cam, and we're going to bring on Antoine Bouvet on... Is he left-footed? No, he's right-footed. On the left wing. So we're going to see, is calling him a Thierry Henry, was that just a false a false claim? Or are we going to see if he's actually going to show us something? So we'll see. The 18-year-old French forward, first appearance for Arsenal. Hey, okay, Kamara, that's a good steal. Now, okay, where is he at? Bouvet, where are you at? Okay, we're going to try to get him the ball. Just get him his first touch. See how he does. Mithra gets to him. What do we got? What do we got? I feel like I'm feeling big things from him. That's to be handball, right? How is it on a handball? He just gave the ball a high five. Look at Bouvet. Bouvet's making the run. Okay, he doesn't have quite the ability yet to get by everyone like that. Renato Sanchez might, though. He actually might. Renato Sanchez up to Bouvet. Oh, it was almost such a good ball to him. It was almost beautiful. He kind of, like, did not even run towards it, though. It's a little bit of an issue there. But, okay, Nketiah, Nketiah could be in. Okay, that wasn't the greatest ball. Man, this Michelin team is honestly not the greatest, but... I mean, they're they're trying. I think we're the much stronger team on paper. We sh we should be the the team winning here. All right, go on the break. Go on the break. Smith throw. Bouvet is making a run. 
Can we find Enketia a little bit further? Yes, we can. What a ball from uh, Bouvet. And Enketia went for the absolute spectacular. Probably should have just headed it like a normal person, but he went for a... Uh, he went for the highlight play. Wasn't a, wasn't a bad ball from uh, Bouvet, though. Not at all. Renato Sanchez gets it to... Who is this? This is Bouvet. Left-footed shot. I mean, it was into the crowd. Wasn't the worst shot, though. Okay, now they just split us off that shot. And Ramsdale. Ramsdale's not going to save that one. That is a bit unfortunate. They, that dude just ran straight and just broke our back line. That goal should not matter, though. Although a little bit disheartening, it should not matter. Good ball to Tavares. I'm feeling a cross here from Tavares. It's actually a great cross. Um, and Ketty is not going to reach it, though. I'm trying to get Bouvet involved, but, I mean, it's kind of tough here. I feel like they've actually defended pretty well. Here he is, though. He's got 70 dribbling. He's got 70 dribbling. He's showing something, and Bouvet scores the last goal of the game. The 18-year-old French forward. We pretty much just dribbled into the box with him, and he did so good there. All right, that's a pretty decent way to end this game. I mean, I wasn't expecting this. Just pretty much dribbles past everyone. And that's a that's a pretty good finish. I mean, I don't know, based off that, if you could call him the next Terry Henry. But, I mean, it's trending towards that direction, at least. It's a very small, minuscule step in that direction. But uh, not a bad debut for our new French forward. And uh, we are through to the Europa League semis. All right, so we could potentially have Real Madrid or Man City in the semifinals of the Europa League. So in the Europa League semis, we are going to have, okay, we have Lyon. That is, uh, that's probably, probably the easier team. So, Man City beat Real Madrid 5-4. What a semi, or actually quarterfinal. So, Lyon beat Wolfsburg. That's who we face. That's pretty much a more even team, I would say. And other side, you would expect Man City to beat Real Batiste. So, next game, Southampton away. We push, we push for Champions League next season. This game is going to be a 2-1 win. Saka and Martinelli do score. All right, so Crystal Palace, Brighton, Southampton all wins in, uh, in April. And that sees us now sit in third. And with a four-point cushion, and I mean, we a hey, we're only four points away from uh, from first. That is that is very interesting. I don't think we're 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 challenge or title challengers, but I mean, we're we're kind of right there. Um, Nigeria, this guy's got 74 to 94 potential. That's interesting. Um, this guy 425 value. We'll sign him up, and the rest aren't that good. I mean, this guy, I mean, 275, 1.8 thousand wage. We'll take a look at him. And then from Brazil, we've not had any luck here. Uh, 375 could be decent. Other guys, not great, not great, um, not great, and not great. I mean, 67 highest overall, though. This guy might actually be decent. We'll look at him, too. So, oh, that's that's a tough name. That's an extremely tough name. Okay, so he's uh, center mid, 6'2". He kind of looks like uh, the other guy we found. He wasn't that great. I mean, 64 pace, 70 dribbling. No, honestly, not not that not that good. And then the guy from Nigeria is a right back. He's got, I mean, decent stats. What's his what's his height? 5'7"? Uh, I mean, still, nothing amazing. We're looking for, we're looking for the amazing. And the last guy. 5'9 striker who's got 78 physical but like no finishing though once again not amazing i think we have all our eggs in our basket with this guy here so it's gonna take three weeks to make him a right wing i want to see what his overall goes up to because it's gonna go up i just don't know how much all right can we make it four wins in a row facing lester this is a huge huge game for the title race and it's a one nil loss come on i mean what that's nine points from 12 in april it's not the worst but it could have been it could have been better so that loss means that we're now only two points above liverpool in fourth i mean it's still good we're three points off man city in fifth that's what we got to worry about our goal was to get arsenal back in the champions league it's looking like a very real possibility this season so that's a good thing with five games left but next game is the fa cup semi-final against watford i mean you'd expect us to beat Watford. So only change for us changes are Matawake comes in, also uh, Ben White and Hickey come in. So let's see if we do against Watford. Maybe reach the uh, an FA Cup final. All right, I feel like we we got kind of lucky by getting Watford in the semis here. I mean the small teams are actually sometimes harder to beat, so we'll see if that actually is true. But I feel like there is a bit of fortune here. You would expect us to be the heavy favorites here to reach the uh, FA Cup final. So let's let's all as always see what we can do. Odegaard shot blocked. Thomas Partey volley also blocked. Why not again? Okay, maybe, maybe that's not why. Um, Odegaard, Odegaard. I should have gave it to Jesus there. I should have played it to him. I just missed that uh, Missed that little pass. Now, that is a great ball to Derson. I didn't know who that is. going to go all the way out wide with, though. That's a good cross. And it's going to be just a little header from Thomas Partey, though. Odegaard, Jesus making a very good run. Jesus got to finish. Man, we... We're actually facing Burnt Leno. I forgot we sold him to Watford. That's a good save. He's going to get our revenge maybe in this game. Or his revenge. We got to finish those chances though. Why am I not finishing those anymore? Thomas Partey from distance. It's going to be off. I think off someone's head. I might try low driven shots again because they used to work for me. They stopped working though where I missed a lot of chances. 
So maybe we'll try that. I just don't really trust the uh, low driven shots anymore. Okay, that's a very good ball. Okay, Watford having a decent start here. Okay, why did I did I actually move? I don't know why he was so far away from their striker. I don't know if that was me moving him. All right, there's space in the middle here. Odegaard, Jesus, Thomas Partey. Beautiful Thomas Partey. He's got some good shooting. He's got some very good shooting, and that's goal number one. 26 minutes in. It's it's not party time yet, but it's getting there. Martinelli, Odegaard, get it back to Jesus. Jesus, they're laying off of him again. Very similar shot, honestly. Honestly, not good. Oh, no. Martinelli is injured. Martinelli is injured, and it's... Oh, it's looking like one of the bad ones. Man, we've been... I feel like we've been fortunate with injuries. I feel like I don't get a lot of injuries. I just get a few really, really bad ones. Oh, that's that's not looking good. Okay, do we do Smith Rowe or Bouvet? I'm thinking Bouvet. Antoine Bouvet, he gets the... He, he's on for Martinelli. Big chance for him. But, man, yeah, that was a, that was a rough tackle. It's so unfortunate. Hopefully, it's not bad. That is, uh, that's all we can hope for at this point. That is an injury that could impact, and not only the end of the season, could impact season two if, uh, if it's a really bad one. Good ball to Jesus. Odegaard on your left foot should be a good chance to shoot, and it's going to be blocked. Okay, Bouvet with a steal, doing some defending work. I like to see that. Now, Odegaard on his bike. Okay, Odegaard's got some speed. Tierney, okay, okay, that works. That was a mistake. But it works. Kamara, low driven shot, and that was actually a very bad one. I don't think I could blame the uh, low driven shot technique on that one, though. Matawake, who is this? This is Bouvet, right? This is Bouvet. Bouvet, long shot. Hey, that was actually pretty good. This little 18 year old French forward actually is looking pretty decent so far. Matawake's got pace, though. 96. 96. And he's got finishing, too. 96 finishing. That was a great shot. Bouvet. Okay, let's just be smart. Kamara, oh, I, sh I was meant to, I meant to give that right back to him. He was making a good run. All right, second half begins 1-0, but it feels like we have been all over them. So, I mean, we are still heavy favored in this game. But not if they score a long shot. Ramsdale, that's, uh, that's a pretty good save. It was a decent shot from Watford. Tierney, good ball to Odegaard. Get it back to Tierney. Tierney is making a run. Through to Odegaard, actually through to Jesus. That was not a good ball, though. Come on, let's extend this lead. They're, they're giving a lot of room to Thomas Partey there. And that was a pretty good shot on his left foot. We will send this corner in. Actually, it doesn't look bad. It just doesn't look amazing, though. Bouvet, chance to shoot. Chance to shoot. And Bouvet, our 18-year-old youth academy product, scores in the FA Cup semifinal. I mean, the man is 67 rated, right? What a shot from a 67 rated winger. By the way, he has 51 finishing, although it doesn't feel like it. With that kind of finishing, it does not feel like it. Okay, I didn't expect him to be quite this good. Like, look at that shot. It's beautiful. Hey, injuries also create opportunities. And Bouvet just took that opportunity right there. The the youngster might be something special. Who know though? Much more comfortable. Tierney. Tierney was making such a good run. Okay, I pressed pass way earlier than that. Odegaard kind of just fell asleep a little bit right there. And Watford are playing very aggressive. I feel like they're tr honestly trying to hurt my players. That's what my honest opinion is. I feel like they're trying to hurt my players bouvet not again right okay that was an interesting challenge thomas Partey, though another good shot short corner i believe bouvet is out here he is not again right even that shot 51 finishing like that was a very decent shot mara great steal now leading the counter odegaard can we get that to jesus no we cannot okay odegaard is rinsed so smith throw renato sanchez on and let's do inketi actually that's uh that's our three subs that is gonna be a good ball to jesus bouvet bouvet's in Bouvet is in, and he almost scores again. Lano makes another good save, though. Hey, he, he's looking lively, though, for a 67-rated winger. It's actually crazy. Short corner to Smith-Rowe. Who is on the outside here? Okay, that's actually a good ball to Renato Sanchez. Oh, it's a good block. Get that back into Bouvet. In front of goal, Lano. What a save from Lano. He denies Bouvet another chance. Man, we got to score that, though. Oh, it's got to be more in the corner. Okay, that's where the 51 finishing kind of shows, I think. Because that shot's got to be in the corner. But for some reason, his long shots look so good. Okay, we're just stat padding uh, Leno by this point. Badawake, we'll try a little dink. Actually looks good. Kamara off the post. Renato Sanchez, rebound. Not going to quite get it. Bouvet is going to try to win that header, but fails. It's actually not a bad little routine there to try and uh, cross that in like that. I mean, Bouvet's come in in a game where he was not expected to play much. Scores a goal. Probably should have scored maybe two more, at least one more. He's had himself a very, very good game. 
He's a very exciting youngster. Okay, we should have got that tomato away game. But you know what? We got the job done. We were heavy favored in this game, and we do get the job done. So that is an FA Cup final for Arsenal in uh, in season one. A chance to win a, a pretty good trophy. So now on to the Europa League semifinals. Bro, like, what is my luck? with injuries what is my luck gabriel martinelli is out with a i'm guessing a torn acl for seven months oh that's just it just absolutely hurts endless pain one two three four five six seven he's not gonna be back till november of next season bro how just how unfortunate is that that actually sucks that is an injury that will impact season two it will the only silver lining there is that uh bouvet had a chance to play and show himself which he did and the recovery time will be part of the summer at least for martinelli he's not gonna miss like at least half of next season i think he might be back like october time because sometimes it is sooner but that sucks that does suck i think we stick with the pace on the wing. So Matueke starts and then Bouvet will be on the bench to take uh, Martinelli's spot. Man, that is that is unfortunate though. So we jump straight to the Europa League semis against uh, Lyon. It's a team that's probably a lot more closer to our level. Um, Yeah, Matueke starts and I think we go with pretty much the strongest 11. Yeah. So first leg, of course, they uh, Renato Sanchez, former team. They have Alwar, Paqueta, Kakaret at CDM. Is that how you say that? Probably not. But Zagadu, they got Calvert-Loon up top. This team actually looks very, very decent. Definitely 1000% our biggest test in the Europa League so far. So Martinelli goes down with an injury. Matueke steps up for him. We will see what we can do. Like I said, injuries also open up opportunities for other players. And uh, it's an opportunity for Matueke. We almost just scored a great goal to start the game. I feel like this 4-3-3 holding formation, it just opens up so many chances for long shots because both of those mids uh, pushing forward. And it's just so impossibly, un or actually so enticing to shoot. I should have actually passed that to Odegaard. And what is that ball from Kamara? That's so weak. For someone like me who likes taking long shots, it just opens up so many opportunities to shoot them. And what kind of pass is that? Okay, this is back-to-back -back weird passes from both teams. Odegaard. Jesus should have continued his run. We're going to try to get it to him. We cannot get it to him, though. Uh, what just happened there? Zaka. Uh, Thomas Partey. Two Tomiyasu. Back to Partey. Shot. And good save by the keeper. What kind of start is this? That's just absolute. Once again... Absolute chaos. Okay, Tierney steals it, and the man is going on an absolute adventure. We're going to play maybe the best ball I've ever seen, though. To Jesus, and Jesus finishes it. Kieran Tierney, that might be the assist of the season right there. That ball was just magical. Like, look at this pass. Look at that pass. That is that is absolutely insane. Jesus finishes it off, and we're 1-0 up. That was, uh, I'll say it again. That was magical. Okay, Kamara, I need a good through ball. When I needed a good through ball, we did not get a good through ball. Okay, what are they going to do on this free kick? I'm sorry, but what was that? What What did they just try there? That was terrible. Now, Tierney, once again, running. And Jesus in front of him. Is Tierney about to get his second assist? Jesus, we will try the low-driven shot. And that was a very good low-driven shot from Gabriel Jesus. Tierney with two assists so far and also Jesus with two goals. And Tierney is looking like uh, his Scottish teammate Andy Robertson around here. All right, 2-0. We've got a very decent start. What kind of pass is that? What is, what is this Leon team doing? They do get the ball back very awkwardly, but I mean, what kind of... Okay, what was that? Oh, okay, there's, there's the ping pong passing I'm seeing. They're about to just turn up. At home, 2-0 down. They're a little upset, and I think we're about to feel the wrath. Cross in, Ramsdale, actually pretty easy for him. Oh, Mat Matawake is just rapid quick. Like, that is why he's playing over uh, Smith Rowe. He, he just backheeled the ball without even trying. Tierney, Odegaard. Oh, Odegaard, beautiful ball to Jesus. And Matawake at the far post. That is just... We're playing some beautiful football in this game right here. Matawake gets the start over the injured Martinelli, and he does score. Honestly, we're looking a bit too strong here for uh, Leon to start. I mean, that's just a beautiful ball from Jesus. Matawake, good finish. I mean, we're going to try to score as much as we can. Hopefully not concede. And we can maybe end this in the first leg, possibly. Saka gives it to Partey. Oh, we got to get that to Jesus. And then it went right back to Saka. It would have been beautiful. An interesting cross in, but Tierney gets it out. I mean, defense has held up so far. Jesus, why is Kamara making such a run there? I don't know why Kamara is making a, a dashing run forward like that. He's not on instructions to do that. I don't really like it. But, okay, we can't let him score, though. We've been so dominant. We can't let them score. I want to finish this in the first leg. And that's a weird pass. Tomiyasu doesn't really get it cleanly. 
They might score. Okay, Ramsdale, good save. Honestly, thought he might sweat it, and we went for the pass. Thankfully, Ramsdale does make the save. Well, what was that corner? I don't even know what I just saw. I lost the ball for a second, but Tomiyasu is running with it, so we're good. Odegaard. Odegaard. Oh, play it to Jesus. Beautiful. He needs some uh, help, though. Jesus needs some emotional support. Tomiyasu. Flip up to Odegaard. Odegaard brings it down. Okay, get it to the smart pass. Oh, how do we mess that up? I wanted that to go to the far man, actually. Oh, that was a very good chance that we just absolutely screwed up. Okay, ball to Partey. What do we got here? Get that to Jesus. Somehow we got it to him. And Jesus scores and completes the hat trick in the Europa League semifinals. Okay, the finishing has come along with us to, uh, to France in this first leg. I mean, once again, let's just try to keep laying it on the matter. Okay, round one. Okay, exactly. Not exactly round one. The clean sheet is of the most importance here. I want the clean sheet. Oh, I just opened up the pass. And Ramsdale, thankfully, the shot is right at Ramsdale. Madaweke gives it to Jesus. Jesus to Odegaard. Come on, one more runner. One more runner. It's going to be Buke Osaka. Flip up to Jesus. That was, a, that was a tough cross to get off. Saka keeps it, though. He keeps it. He's driving forward. Saka driving forward. Shot. It's going to be blocked. Whoa, look at all this space. What is all this space doing? Madaweke, that's going to be five. Man, that's, they're going forward, I guess. They're trying to get one to get back in the game. And they just maybe put the nail in their own coffin. Like, Odegaard is a good ball to Madaweke. Madaweke scores two. Uh, big game for him to step up in place of Martinelli. But we're going to throw him on the right. We're going to bring on Bu uh, Bouve. We're going to bring on Nketia. And let's do Renato Sanchez for the last 15 minutes. I mean, 5-0. I think this is already over, but if we score one more, we could just we can make it a little bit easier. Or I guess I should say a little bit more uh, more convincing. Hey, okay, don't let him score though. Don't let him score. I think Gabriel had a weird block on that. I mean, it works. Corner sent in, and Kamara I think should have that. Yes, he does. It's gonna be a good ball, and Calvert Lewin. Ramsdale denies him again, man. Ramsdale, he's having himself an episode. Might be the most saves I think in one episode so far for him, and that's a good clearance by Gabriel. Okay, he might have to make a few more because. Uh, they do look pretty good all of a sudden. They're they're trying to fight for their, their for their life. But Ramsdale denies them again. And okay, what kind of corner is that? Bouvet, we're just gonna dink this forward. It's not exactly what I had in mind, but you know what? No harm done. Okay, so we don't make it six, but five nil first leg. I think uh I think that's it for the semifinals. There's no way back in England that uh they come back from a five nil deficit. This was just a beautiful game. Finishing was there for us, which has not been consistent all season. That was just a beautiful game. All right, so we officially enter the final month of season one. So in the Prem, we sit in fourth place with two games at hand though, over uh, Liverpool and Everton. So we win those two, we would be at 65 points, which would put us in third. And that would hopefully help secure us top four next season or Champions League next season. We are in the FA Cup final, which you probably saw it. It's against Chelsea, which is gonna be interesting. Got a chance to win a trophy. And then also, yeah, uh, mid Pretty much looks like we're through to the final and also it looks like man city are too so it's shaping up for two cup finals fa cup versus chelsea then europa league versus man city and also trying to secure top four which we have west ham leeds united newcastle and everton so it's going to be an interesting end of the season and the next episode is going to be the season one finale now i gotta say calling antoine bouvet the next uh terry Henry, it kind of felt a little premature not gonna lie even i will say that well uh, he scored two goals in three games and the one in the fa cup was a beautiful goal he looks like he's got a future in this team so there's a chance there's a chance he could be that good of a player for us like Thierry Henry but man Epic Cup final Europa League final Premier League finale to get top four this season finale is going to be amazing but that is it for this one drop a like if you enjoyed the sub button down below if you have not you're on the road to 100,000 subs and yeah next episode it's it's gonna be a very very big one so I will see you guys in the next video hope you have a great day